As Amazon selling has grown, so has the option to show different creative asset types to customers. I remember back when only product listing photos are required to sell on Amazon. Now, Amazon sellers can create and show a lot of different asset types such as a content, video, sponsor brand banners. With so many different options for photos, ad sets, and videos, there comes the complications of organization. But Amazon have rolled out a feature called the Amazon Creative Asset that allows you to post all of your creatives into one place and allow you for pre-approval. If you want to know how to use this creative asset function to streamline your operations, stay tuned. I am Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and founder of Seller Metrics, an Amazon marketing agency. And if you're interested in content such as this one, where we talk about the latest Amazon FBA news tips and hacks, I invite you to subscribe. Okay, so nowadays Amazon uh, really have been rolling out some great features to help optimize the Amazon selling experience. One of them I've been using a lot more of lately, and I feel it's not really getting a lot of love is the Amazon Creative Asset. Why should you use the Amazon Creative Asset? So basically it allows you to consolidate all of your media files, including videos, and basically organize all of them from one single location. And you can also tag it with categories, keywords, and also where you want them to actually appear. It could also, you could use it for your product listing photo image. You could use it for Amazon Post. You could use it for Amazon Store. And best of all, you could use it across all of your um, Amazon ad types, right? So that includes sponsored brand, sponsored displays, sponsored products. And uh, another great thing about uh, using the Amazon Creative Asset is that uh, you could also request for moderation uh, of the actual asset once you upload it into the Amazon Creative Asset function. So this is great because if you're trying to run sponsored brand campaigns, for example, you may have to upload a new asset and then wait for moderation to approve the actual asset before the campaign runs. Now with the Amazon Creative, As uh, Creative Asset, you can basically upload the asset, request for moderation, and once that asset has been approved, you could use that asset in your Amazon sponsored brand campaign without the moderation because it has already been moderated. So you no, know, instead of just talking about the good stuff, let's dive right in. So to actually get into the Amazon creative assets module, you will need to just go to, um, go to your seller central and you would just go to campaign manager and then under uh, creative manager, go to creative tools over here, click on that and you will go to creative asset. So you're allowed to like um, upload the asset. Um, so you upload videos, you can upload images in different formats. Uh, so you can see like right here, I have it. I upload uh, A plus content into it. Uh, so you can see like this like module, this rectangular module that I use for uh, A plus content. And uh, you can see like if I were to uncheck this, basically I unchecked um, showing A plus content asset. So if I recheck this, I'm showing A plus content asset. So a great thing about this is that you upload all your asset here. You could basically reuse them in different places. So that would be Amazon post, Amazon advertising, obviously, uh, your Amazon store page, and also your A plus content. So let's try like uh, add a listing photo, upload it, and then you're going to click next. And then you could, um, at this point, change the name. So it could be 600 by 600. And then you could tag it as a different type. So you could tag it as like a product image. So you could, uh, there's like uh, six types, the author image, uh, lifestyle image, logo image, and other image. So uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, logo would be a very uh, good way to use the creative asset. Basically you upload the logo once in maybe like different format, maybe like a one with like the clear background, one with like a, maybe a rectangular look of your logo. You could just upload it once and then just keep reusing it. And then brands. So basically this is only uh, the brands you can only select the ones that you connected to your account. And then for the tags, uh, this is free for all. So how do you want to add a tag? Um, to further organize it. So for me, I'll just try the product listing for type C products. And then you can also add your ASIN, tag an ASIN as well. So whatever your ASIN of your product is, right? You could tag it. Um, so I'm just gonna do all Amazon products. So let's say it's this one right here. I could tag a ASIN along with it and then done. And then add asset, right? And then another thing that you can do Let's just say this is for your sponsor brand banner advertising, right? So a lot of times when you upload a sponsor brand asset, you would need to have it moderated. So what you could do, right? You could actually have your photo moderated 
ahead of time, right? Request moderation. So you can see like here, moderation progress. And when Amazon have completed moderation of this image, you can use it for your sponsored brand campaign without moderation. So this is a great thing about uh, using a creative asset. Basically, you know, you don't have to wait maybe like two or three days once you create the sponsor brand campaign. You could just use the asset right away and run the campaign right away. And then add asset, and then uh, if I could just refresh it. Uh, yeah, there we go, it refresh. So you can see like the asset over here, and uh, you can see like, um, you know, who have access to modify this assets uh, currently is under moderation and the tags that we added to this particular photo. Another thing that we could do with this, uh, let's just like um, add like an A plus content asset. So uh, I think a good A plus content asset would be, it's like probably like a rectangular one. So I have a nice lifestyle image right here. So I'm going to use that for say my A plus content. Um, so this one is just a lifestyle photo, a photo of like a bedroom and then next, and then yeah, I could put it as like a lifestyle image and select my brand. It could, I'm just gonna put like lifestyle. I don't really need to uh, add an ASIN if I don't, if it's not really connected to ASIN and then add to group. So we could create like a specific group. So I'm just gonna put like lifestyle image and then it would save in this folder. Let's further organize your assets and then you can add that asset. So the um, asset loaded took some time. So you can see like this one's called bedroom one. And then another great thing about this is that uh, let's just go into like A plus content. So if you go to the A plus content, you would just go to advertising A plus uh, content manager. And uh, since you upload that image, you could easily reuse it. Let's just say you uh, create a new A plus content and then one of the modules, you want to use that same lifestyle photo again. You could just like pick it out uh, here and uh, if you actually add it basically this this screen right here would be connected to the a plus content on the amazon advertising side okay so now we uh were able to upload images let's try uploading a video right so so i have like an image of a baby mount right here so let's upload this one and with images, uh, so for example, you just use it for sponsored brand video. You could request it for moderation. So again, you could use the asset right away in your advertising when you actually pre-moderate it. Let's go to next and then, um, okay, yeah, it seems like it's eligible for these ad placements, right? Which is okay. So it seems like you see like it's eligible for brand video, but for the other ones, it doesn't. So these ones, you probably need to create another video format for it. So let's just select that and then you could um, add your ASIN. So my ASIN, let's just say it would be this one. So it would be this product right here, done. And then um, again, you could also request for moderation, just like how we done in the photos, right? Moderation in progress and then add it to asset. And uh, I believe it's gonna take like maybe a while for it to show up on the actual screen. So you can see that it's processing moderation in progress. And then you go to your Amazon advertising, you could easily um, use this in your sponsored brand advertising sponsor display. So if you actually go to your sponsored, if I were to like create my sponsored brand video, I could reuse this video in multiple uh, sponsored brand campaigns without having to like, you know, go through the trouble of uploading it multiple times, right? Let's just say a sponsored brand video. Go to video. And then if I were to go to the place where I select the actual video, I can easily bring up the video from over on the choose creative assets, right? And this is the one that I have just recently uploaded. Obviously it's processing is also undergoing moderations. So you probably need to like wait a little bit for me to actually use it. But I think you get the idea that, you know, I could upload an asset once and basically run it multiple times with um, multiple like ad placement and also uh, create other campaigns that caters to this particular asset. And uh, I can also use this on Acos content, Amazon post, and also on the Amazon store. So if you actually go to your Amazon storefront, that would be under your brand content in your Amazon 
advertising console and you go to stores and you could use the asset that you upload in your creative asset into your stores as well so another way to kind of leverage this this feature okay so um there you have it just a quick and easy one-on-one on amazon creative assets is a great way to save organize and reuse brand information for example you do not need to uh, re-upload your logo multiple times for your a plus content it really does help you deliver brand consistency throughout your amazon um, selling experience basically by allowing you to quickly reuse these brand content using just like single interface which would be the amazon creative asset feature anyways i hope you enjoyed this like short video and if you are an amazon seller and want to grow your business Schedule a discovery call with me in the link below. And until the next video drop, happy selling.